So today we're talking about the hole in the wall restaurants in Springfield, Missouri. Let's go! What's going on guys? My name is Jesse Weiser and I'm a real estate broker here in Springfield, Missouri. And today I'm talking to you about hole in the wall restaurants. Now we have some criteria, but we're not gonna tell you about it. Just kidding. They are all above a 4.5 stars on Google reviews. Now these hole in the walls, like we didn't choose ones with like big signs on the outside. Like these are legit like hole in the wall restaurants. You could literally drive by and not know that these restaurants were here. So that's why we're giving them a shout out today on Holes in the Walls, Springfield edition. <laughs> also, if you're thinking about moving to Springfield, if you're from a different city outside, and that's why you're watching these videos, because you want to know more about Springfield, or if you move to Springfield, I want to get to know you. Like that's why we make these videos, because I want to be able to help you. Remember, I'm a real estate broker, we make these videos so we can connect and that I can help you move to the area or even buy something in the area. And my contact information is down below. You can call me, text me, email me. People think that they're not reaching out to me, but they actually get me. So reach out, I would love to get to know you and get to know your story. So first up, let's talk about Druff's Diner, which has a 4.6 Google review. Now I've been to Druff's, it's amazing. Think of like a grilled cheese, but with like unique stuff in there. So last time I went there, they had this grilled cheese, but had like, I'm gonna say hamburger helper. It's much better than hamburger helper, but I'm giving you a visual. Right in the middle, and oh my gosh, was it so good. This place is amazing. It is in the blue wood rough building skyscraper, but it's an easy place to miss as you pass on your way downtown. This place is a diner on the first floor of that skyscraper. It is a grilled cheese cafe. That's all you need to know, really. They go heavy on cheese of all kinds. Cheddar, pimento, pepper jack, gouda, colby, provolone, parmesan. Literally, I am a cheese fanatic. I love cheese. If you bring me some like old, like 20 year old sharp cheddar, I will be your best for it. Just letting you know, if you do like a Popeye of the office, bring some cheese. They are open 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Tuesday through Friday and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. They also feature breakfast sandwiches and bowls too. Last time I was there, I had a breakfast bowl. My gosh, the avocado, everything in it was amazing. Next up is the Tea Bar and Bites. This is a 4.7 review. And let me tell you, this is in the Pickwick area. So like the area will just give you a nice vibe. This is a little tea shop on Pickwick Avenue. It's a building off El Patio that has seating for its guests outside. It's open 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday and Saturday. You can find an assortment of all kinds of tea, sandwiches, soups, casseroles here. They do set up local art. That's kind of cool and you can buy and the atmosphere is so charming. You'll get mismatched cups. It's all set in a warm and cozy atmosphere. It's a good one, especially good for the, I've been there. It's not just for the ladies, but I have been there and I've ate some, some really cool dishes. Yeah, if you definitely want to impress your ladies, gentlemen, I'm talking to you, take your date there. Now let's talk about the seventh on Walnut. Now it is a 4.6 reviews on Google. This one is truly a little hole in the wall. It's a tiny shop sandwiched between two buildings. <laughs> See what I did there? They sell sandwiches and stuff there. You know, but you know what I mean. It's distinct with its bright green door. They have some amazing mouth-watering sandwiches that anyone can enjoy. You can also get these with a pretty good price with most items being under $10. Many say it's one of the best meals they have ever gotten. Next up is the Mud Lounge. Again, a 4.6 Google review. Now don't get this mixed up with the Mud House. This is the Mud Lounge. It's right next door to the seventh on Walnut. It does open up at 4 p.m. and closes at 1.30 a.m. Oh my gosh, 1.30 a.m.? I'm in bed by like nine. This place is not for me probably. <laughs> this is one where you can get coffee and cocktails here, sometimes both at one time. Their coffee or mud, as they call it, has some options for both. Twisted chai, Irish coffee, Kahlua latte, to name a few. They serve appetizers too. It has some moody lighting to set a relaxing scene. It's a great spot. Now, 
If I were to go here, it sounds like I would order an espresso martini. You know, coffee, good. alcohol. You can thank me later. If they don't have an espresso martini, what the heck are they doing? Now let's talk about the sandwich scene, which has a 4.8 Google review. Wow, that's impressive, 4.8. This place was once known as the secret sandwich shop and is now in this little spot off McDaniel Street. So they used to be secret sandwich shop, but now they're the sandwich scene. They got so popular, they're now a scene to see. <laughs> the sandwiches are great with some of the best names around town, like I've been thinking about you, or what's the deal, turkey? Next one up is Ott's Pasta Carryout, which has a 4.7 Google review. This is a small little shop with pasta at a great price. You seriously can't beat the price here for all the pasta you get. There isn't a place to sit down and eat. You can pick up the food on your way to any destination. Many people don't know much about it, but it's been around a long time. Now I think they keep their prices low because they don't have like a, like a place that you can sit, which might be good or bad. You can just grab your pasta for pretty cheap, take it out anywhere you wanna go. This is also the Pickwick area. And the food is classic, simple, and delicious. It's got spaghetti, rotini, tortellini, and fettuccine. All the eenies, all of them. Now let's talk about Mimi Soul Food, which has a 4.5 Google review. You know what you're getting here? Some amazing soul food. That would come with mac and cheese, fried chicken, cornbread, fried cabbage, fried potatoes, and catfish. The food is good for the soul. They boast food portions and nice staff there too. Let's talk about the Gilmore's Tea Room, which is a 4.6 for you. This used to be ran by Mrs. Gilmore, but it actually got sold a couple years back. And it's just like a, a cute little tea house. Now what's cool about the Gilmore Tea House is it's partially like a store. So half of it, you can walk around, you know, it's kind of like a boutique store. And then you go down and eat tea, sandwiches, all that good stuff that, you know, your ladies like. Now, if you love pink, you are going to love this place. They have some incredible dishes like soup, sandwiches, even crepes and quiche. There's so much tea and cakes and sweet treats too. The decor is so distinct, you can find umbrellas and macaroons all over the ceiling. Every room has fun and tasteful decor to add to the vibe. You will also get mismatched tea sets and plates of fine china dishes. We're also gonna talk about Prairie Pie, which has a 4.8 Google review. That's actually pretty high. I've had their Prairie Pies, they are amazing. If you wanna try like pies in the area, go to Prairie Pie. They also have savory or sweet pies. It's literally all there. Their pot pies make such delicious meals, then you can get a sweet pie for dessert too. Their pies often change seasonally based on what is popular. They sell anything from key lime pie, peach crumble, apple streusel, blueberry more, and chocolate chess. Chocolate chess? Yeah, that's what they call it. I'm guessing chocolate chess is just a chocolate pie, but they call it chess. This place is unlike any other shop in Springfield. The atmosphere is fun too, so stop in and enjoy this with friends. Now let's talk about Neighborhood Pizza Cafe, which has a 4.6 review. This one was recommended by a few different people. It's almost too popular, but we went ahead and placed it on the list. It's north of Springfield on Glenstone, kind of by Valley Water Mill. Not in the boonies though, okay? It's just North Springfield. This, as you can imagine, is a neighborhood favorite with some amazing pizzas. They also serve sandwiches, wraps, quesadillas, calzones, and chicken tenders. So there's something for the whole family here. So a lot of these that we suggested on this video are from you as the viewers, where you commented on a video that we made, Hidden Gems in Springfield, Missouri, where you can check it out right here. All this was from the comment section. But that's all we have for you today. If you wanna check out more videos about Springfield and just all the cool things in Springfield, Missouri, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, you watch it for deer. <laughs> now, if you go there and they don't have good staff, well, I guess I'm a liar.